Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be diving into the brand new Jaclyn Cosmetics Summer Collection. I just received this yesterday, midday, and I did post uh, a video on the new ABH palette yesterday. So if you want to check that out, I'm actually wearing that right now. But I didn't know when I was going to get this, so I wanted to get that video up. And today we're playing with the new collection from Jaclyn Cosmetics. So in here we have a new bronzer formula, expansion of the lip oils, which if you know, you know and then new shades of the putty highlighter. So not a huge collection, but we're gonna swatch everything. I'm gonna give you my thoughts, try the products on, hence why I have a blanked out complexion and I probably look a little wild right now. So as always, I will link all the products that I mentioned today, information about this collection, as well as all the makeup I'm wearing down below in my description box. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe. But if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. So here is the PR box packaging. The models look absolutely gorgeous. I just love the glowy skin and the glossy lips, the flowers. It's just really beautiful. I know she joked about not using herself as a model, and I actually just think it's a nice change of pace for her brand, and I think this is beautiful. Just the promo photos in general, they knocked it out of the park with this. So here is the inside of the PR package. You have the bronzers, the new lip oil shades, and then also the putty highlighters. They did send three shades of bronzer, but they sent all of the lip oils and every shade of the highlighter. Everything is launching June 23rd on JacquelineCosmetics.com and then it also will be coming online to Ulta and in select stores June 26th. So I will leave the information down below. I'm excited that it's coming to Ulta as well if you want to pick it up there instead of ordering from her website. But I want to start off with the bronzers. All right, so I've got you zoomed in and I'm going to go ahead and go over the product really quickly and then we will do the demo. So these are called the Sun Bathe Pressed Bronzers. This is a brand new packaging component and I have to say and maybe one of my favorites from her. I feel like in the past, a lot of her products, and I will mention sort of in the putty highlighter realm, they remind me very much of like a Morphe component. This seems special and different. I think this is beautiful. It's sleek. It's still large and it feels nice and weighted, but it's not clunky and it's just different. So I love the packaging on this. When you open it up, you can see the bronzer inside and then you do also get a mirror. So the bronzer is made in the USA. It has a 12 month shelf life and you do get 0.28 ounces of product. So they say this bronzer delivers an end of summer golden hour glow, has a matte finish, comes in 10 different shades. This retails for $32. It is a pressed powder formula that is easy to buff into skin and delivers buildable coverage for any day by the pool or weekend at the beach, enhanced with a sweet toffee scent. So I know she talked about the scent, so let's just smell this and see. Yep, it does smell like toffee. I mean, it smells really lightly. It's not something I feel like is going to linger or give you a headache. It's not as strong as let's say like the Huda Beauty loose powder. Maybe more similar to the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers but not quite as scented. And this definitely smells like toffee and not like beachy. So it's a nice touch that I don't think will really bother anyone. So in the PR package, Jaclyn Cosmetics did send over three shades and I do believe they sent over the lightest shades. So I'm hoping that one will work for me. So I'm gonna start out with the shade Vitamin D. I think this will work the best for me and I'm just gonna use a clean brush so when you tap in, there's a tiny bit of kick up, but it's not overly powdery. I just want to make sure I tap off my brush because I really don't know how pigmented the formula is. Also, I really don't know if this is going to be deep enough for me right now, but this is definitely the deepest option they sent. So we're just gonna have to make do. So now I'm going to start on my cheek. Hopefully this shows up. All right, so it's definitely showing up, but I'm switching to a more dense brush just to really, yeah, get it to sculpt the face. So this is what it's looking like. It's blending super easy. It's a very thin formula. It looks really nice. This shade in particular is not overly warm, but it's not like gray cool tone. 
it's kind of right in the middle. I wouldn't say this is overly pigmented, which I actually like. There are some formulas that are so pigmented that I feel like I have to tiptoe around them and be careful. And I really just don't want to fuss with that. When I'm doing my bronzer, I'd rather it be just buildable. All right, so this is what the bronzer looks like in vitamin D. I really like it. I think it looks nice and natural. I like that it's not overly pigmented. I also like that it's not shimmery, so it's not going to enhance your texture. I want to take a little bit of skinny dip, which looks a little bit warmer. I don't know if this will show up, but it might. Oh, yeah. So maybe it's a formula that looks a little bit lighter in the component. This one has more of a warmth to it. This one is sort of reminding me of the Physician's Formula Matte Butter Bronzer that I like. It's really not super dark, so I have to build it up, but it does give me this like suntan and a compact, that's what I like to say. So obviously I'm going heavy-handed because I really want to show you, you know, what these bronzers can do. So this is what the skin is looking like with the vitamin D bronzer, and then I added Skinny Dip. I feel like Skinny Dip is more for those of you that want a warmth, whereas vitamin D is more of like a neutral sculpting bronzer. I probably prefer Skinny Dip, actually, but I feel like I had no issues blending that. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy the formula. I really like the packaging, too. So this is something that I'm interested to keep giving a try. I feel like it worked beautifully. So now I want to move on to the putty highlighters. So these are called the Reflective Light Putty Highlighters. $29 each, four different shades. It says, step into the sun and shine with Jaclyn Hill's Reflective Light Putty Highlighter. Designed with a unique blend of pearls for a buildable finish, it's made with a soft and comfortable texture and a metallic powder that melts onto skin for a buildable wet finish effect. So these are made in Italy. They have a 12 month shelf life and you do get 0.19 ounces. So she did have the putty highlighters before. These are new shades. I don't believe the formula has really changed. They are extremely, extremely blinding. So the first one here, the shade is iced. I mean, we know Jacqueline likes this, so this is not surprising. Now in terms of packaging, you have this sort of rose gold component. It is like a cardboard. And then you do have the J logo right here. And you do also get a mirror. This is what I was talking about where I feel like this reminds me very much of like a Morphe product. Not that it's bad, but Jacqueline has a higher price point. So I would really like to see her move into this sort of packaging overall for all of her new products. Hopefully that is something that is coming. I also feel like she does a ton of highlighters and a ton of powders. I'd like to see something different. Like I was excited to really see this. So I'd like to see some different products that aren't, you know, different variations of highlighters. I know she loves highlighters, so it makes sense. But I feel like there's so many highlighters from her brand. It's like, do we really need all of those? So I'm going to start out with the shade Star Power, which is the second to lightest shade. I don't know. They look a little bit deeper in the pan, but when you swatch them, I don't think they are. So I'm just going to use this Morphe Aerial brush, and we'll see how it picks up. All right, so I'm going in on the skin. I'm not sure this brush is the right brush. So let's try another brush. I'm actually not going to use a brush because it says on the sheet here that it can be swiped onto skin and blended with your fingertips or a beauty sponge for a subtle sheen. So let's try the beauty sponge first. So I'm just taking my beauty blender just to see what kind of like subtle sheen we get. So this is what it looks like with the Beauty Blender. It definitely is subtle, but I feel like a lot of people are into that anymore. A lot of people aren't into like the blinding highlight. So I'm just sort of building this up. Okay, so here is the shade Star Power, and that is with a sponge, which is supposed to give you more of a subtle look. So now I wanna go in to Iced, which is the really bright one, and I'm going to very lightly use my fingertip Oh yeah. So honestly, I would use your fingertip. That's not typically, I'm flipping you off, I'm sorry, but that's not typically how I would apply highlighters, but it really does do the best in terms of application. And then you can use your fingers to sort of like 
push it into the skin. I mean, it's definitely blinding. There's a truck outside if you heard that. Okay, let's try this down the nose. So this is what the putty highlighter looks like. I just put iced on top. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more. I mean, it is really pretty and blinding, but it definitely is blinding. It's not natural by any means. So I like this product, but I'm not like overwhelmed or like blown away just because I feel like I have so many highlighters that I love and I just prefer something I can use a brush with and you know, put it on and go. So let's move on to the last product, which is the Pout Drip Hydrating Lip Oils. These retail for $20 and there are six new shades, 10 shades in total. She did release these a while ago. I love these. If you saw my video, I was blown away by the formula. I was so excited to see more shades. So it says, it's time for something juicy. Jaclyn Hill's Pout Drip Hydrating Oil glides on easily for a voluptuous look that's sheer, high shine, super glossy. It has a cushiony formula that's boosted with lip-loving antioxidants and emollients so lips appear smoother and ready for summer. These are so good. So here's the packaging, it's the same packaging, it's just really cute and compact. It has the Jaclyn logo right here. Let me see where this is made. Made in the USA, you get .08 ounces, and I'm not sure about the shelf life, but this is what the doe foot looks like. I mean, I feel like this is pretty standard. We're seeing lip oils with the large doe foot. I don't think these have a scent, I think I just got that. I don't think these have a scent, which is sort of interesting. I just touched my nose again. Babs, chill out. Yeah, I don't think there's a scent on these, which some people will like, some people won't. I'm just a little bit surprised because she, you know, put a scent in the bronzers, but they don't have a scent, so therefore no taste or anything weird. So what I'm gonna do is just swatch them on my lips. I was thinking about this, and I know some people will say like, don't have lip liner, don't have your lip stain on, which I totally get, but honestly, that's the way that I would wear them, and that's how I'm going to figure out which shades I like and would recommend. So I just have a really basic lip liner on. I didn't, you know, fill in my full lip or anything like that. And then I have a really light lip stain on. This is how I would wear them, so I'm just gonna stay true to how I would wear them so I can really tell you which ones stand out to me. So we're starting off with the clear. Obviously, this is just gonna be clear. It's called Crystal Drip. These feel so good on the lips and they are very high shine. This is one of the shiniest formulas that I have personally tried. If you saw my video that I did when she first released these, I was very impressed. So this is just a clear shade if you just want something super, super glossy. It's so comfortable. There's no stringing or stickiness or anything like that. So this is Crystal Drip. Next up, one of the new shades is called Honey Drip. So this one looks like it has like a nude pinky tone to it. I can swatch these as well, but they swatch pretty sheer. So I feel like you're really not gonna be able to see unless you apply to the lips. So this is Honey Drip. It has like a very, very sheer sort of like milky tone to it, but it's pretty sheer. One thing I will say is I would prefer personally to have a little bit more pigment in a lot of the lip oils on the market. I feel like a lot of people disagree with me. They like sheer. I like a little more color. I can see like a smidge of color, but it's very, very, just subtle, so it's not something that I feel like, you know, you're gonna see tons of difference in between all of these shades. But this is a new shade, and this is called Honey Drip. Next up, another new shade I feel like is gonna be a favorite is called Maple Drip, and they describe this as a sheer, warm, neutral. Now, you can definitely see the pigment there. That's a heavy swatch, but I prefer something like this that has a little bit more oomph to it. These feel so good, you guys, and they're so shiny. Ooh, so pretty. So you can see that this one just gave me just a little bit more color to the lips. I feel like a lot of people will like this because none of these are, you know, overly pigmented. I feel like it'll look good on every skin tone, but this one you can actually see just a little bit of a hint of color. So this one is called Maple Drip. All right, next another new one is Petal Drip. They say this is a sheer bright pink. I don't really think it's a bright pink. It's just sort of like a, I don't know, a mid-tone pink. So let's apply. 
Okay, so this is Petal Drip on the lips. I do think that it takes on more of a pink tone on the lips. I think this is gonna be another popular one just because it gives you a little bit of that flush to your lips, but it's not like hot pink by any means. So this is another one that stands out to me. The next shade is called Bubble Drip. This is another new one, and this is a sheer light pink. I feel like this is gonna be pretty sheer from the swatch, so probably gonna be just mostly clear. So this has a little bit of a milky pink tone. Ooh, it's so pretty. The shine on these, I cannot describe the shine. It, I don't know, something about this formula I feel like is probably the shiniest lip oil that I have personally tried. I know people go crazy over like the Dior lip oils, but I actually like this formula better. So this is the shade Bubble Drip. Next up we have the shade Rose Drip. This is one of the original four shades. It was one of my favorites when I tried it before. And this is a sheer pink. This one gives you a very slight pinky peach tint to the lips. This is one of my favorites called Rose Drip. Next up, we have another one of the original shades called Ruby Drip, and this is a sheer red. This one's gorgeous as well. If you like the Dior lip oils or like the Fenty Hot Cherry Gloss, this is like a sheer version in a lip oil formula. So the applicator is curved, so I like to use the flat side and then you can flip it over and there's like a little bit of product in there just to really coat your lips. Just look how shiny these are. This is so beautiful. So this shade is called Ruby Drip. Next is another one of the original colors. This is Candy Drip, described as a sheer fuchsia. This was another one that surprised me. So you can see if you apply it heavy, you have that pigment, and then you can sort of sheer it out, but this is one of those that has a little bit more pigment, which is why I think I really like it. This one is like popsicle lips, which we know I love. It's just so shiny, I can't get over it. So this one is called Candy Drip. Next up, we have a new shade, and this is called Berry Drip. This is described as a sheer pink purple. I feel like we're seeing a lot of like the purpley tones recently, so I'm interested to try this one. This is pretty. It is pretty, that just slight purple pink undertone just gives it a little bit of like a grape vibe, but it's not obviously like bright purple on the lips. This one is beautiful. So this one is called Berry Drip. All right, and the last shade, which is another new color, is called Violet Drip, and this is a sheer deep purple. I'm interested to see how this one will look. Ooh. That is pretty. This color I feel like will be gorgeous on like tan deep complexions. So this is Violet Drip. All right guys, so I went ahead and put on one of my favorites, which is Rose Drip, but I wanna go over my thoughts on the products. I feel like this was a quick video, but really the standouts for me have to be the bronzer, and I knew I love the lip oils. I really like the bronzer. I think that the shade range from what I saw online looked a lot better than what we've seen in the past from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I love the packaging of this. This feels like a new, fresh item for them. This formula is not overly powdery. It's not overly stiff. I didn't find it to be too pigmented, but also not no pigment at all. I really think this is going to be a product a lot of people enjoy. You're just gonna have to find the right shade for you. There's also different undertones, so some of them look a little bit more like warm orange some looked more neutral and then others like a yellow warm so I feel like there's a lot of different options here packaging is beautiful so for me this is a product that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it blended super easy on the skin didn't enhance my texture didn't feel heavy so this is a yes for me I already knew I love the lip oils but if you haven't tried them I highly recommend doing so because they are quite sheer I would say grabbing one or two would be enough to really get a similar look look. The doe foot is super comfortable. You don't have to keep dipping in. You could just dip in once and apply. They are not sticky, but they do stay in place. So they're not sliding all over my face. And I really just love the shine. There's something about the shine on this product 
They really just are one of the most glossy formulas I've ever tried. So I already knew I loved these, but I'm happy to see a shade expansion. And I would love in the future to see a little bit more pigment so that each shade is a little bit more different than the other. But again, I may be in the minority there. I know a lot of people like a sheer lip product. Overall though, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. And lastly, my thoughts on the putty highlighter is it's just okay for me. I feel like we've seen so many highlighting formulas from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I'd really like to see something different. Again, the packaging just gives me a little bit of like a Morphe vibe. The formula is like a more creamy ColourPop Super Shock. And for me, I prefer something that I can just dip my brush in, apply, and go. Now, if you like intense, intense highlighters and you don't mind using your fingertips, I think you would like this. But for me, it's just a little bit too icy and blinding, and it's just not my favorite formula. So overall, I think this is okay, but the standouts for me have to be the bronzer and the lip oils. All right, guys, so I think that is everything for this video. It was a short and sweet one, but I really wanted to try on the lip oils for you and just give you my first impression and swatches on the product. So do let me know what you think, if you're gonna pick anything up, if you have tried the lip oils or the putty highlighters, what you're interested in and not so much. I will link all of the makeup that I'm wearing down below as well as information about when you can pick up this collection. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.